Ah, Minneapolis, the creme de la creme of cities in Minnesota. Also home to really rude squirrels. Hey buddy. I'm uh, kind of new to this area here in Minneapolis. Where are some good sites? Hey, wait, 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 come back. I just want to ask you a question. Wow, rude. I've been to the city a couple times, but every time I go, it's such an amazing experience. So much to see there. This last trip that I went on with my wife was so much fun. Went to the sculpture gardens, checked out local restaurants and bars, and even got to see a concert at the Target Stadium, which was such an awesome experience. It was also where, for the very first time, I got to experience a little place called Micro Center. I came across this gigantic 98 inch 8K TV by Samsung. It was like the most beautiful picture I had ever seen on a TV. Super cool, would never be able to afford one, but still super awesome to see. Moving into the desktop computer department, I came across this huge ultra wide screen 34 inch curved monitor. It was the most insane thing I had ever seen. Incredibly expensive, but yet incredibly cool. I also saw this similar looking ultra wide curved display. Um, I think this one was a Dell brand and it might have actually been slightly larger at 36 inches. And yeah, <laughs> super expensive and super ridiculous, but yet I love it. I instantly stopped in my tracks when I saw this one. It's an LG monitor, and if you look closely, it's actually wider vertically than it is horizontally. I have never seen a monitor made like that before. I know at work, some of my coworkers have their monitors turned on their side for like viewing spreadsheets and Word documents, but I've never actually seen a monitor that was specifically made for that purpose. Really interesting. Check out this crazy looking laptop. Um, I think it's a Razer brand laptop. And if you notice, it has a second screen attached to it. I have honestly never seen anything like that on a laptop. Like, I've seen stuff like the touch bar on some MacBooks, but I've never actually seen a laptop that has a full on dedicated <laughs> second screen attached to it. It is just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, but yet I kind of love it. It's thick. A PC case with a wood grain front panel. Enough said. Now you can view some of your most lucid dreams in 3D. Your best sleep companion, huh? <laughs> All right. Oh, the nostalgia. They also have one of these racing simulators set up. Really cool to see. I didn't get to try it out myself though, but still pretty cool. After we were done at Micro Center, I decided to check out one of these locally owned recycling centers. And boy, oh boy, I saw some really cool things there. Check out this huge ass Corsair case. Definitely the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> I have no idea where I would even find the space for that, but still really, really cool. I saw 4K Ultra HD on the box and I was instantly intrigued. Um, I didn't really look a whole lot at this, but from what it said on the box and what I've gathered, it looks like it is a UHD network video recorder for like security systems. Very unique. I honestly thought it was like a TV DVR that records 4K, but doesn't look like that's the case. Definitely wouldn't be something I would be able to use, but pretty cool to see. Now here's something I definitely did not expect to see, a Commodore 64. First time I had ever seen one in person. Um, I watch the 8-Bit Guy, if you know of him on YouTube. He does a lot of videos, not only on the Commodore 64, but also on other Commodore PCs. It's a really interesting piece of hardware, and like I said, I had never seen one in person up until that point. And, uh, spoilers, you may or may not see a video related to this in the future. Stay tuned. I also came across some IBM PCs. Um, I think this first one is either a PS2 or a PC Junior. And then these two on the bottom were the original IBM PCs from like 1982 or whenever it was. Um, they were in pretty rough condition, but it was still pretty interesting to see. 
I saw this interesting looking PC and I originally thought it was an early all-in-one desktop, but I looked on the back and it only has two ports on the back, which kind of looks like they're parallel ports. I was trying to figure out exactly what this thing was. Um, I later actually found out it's actually a computer terminal. So this would have been like a access point to like a mainframe computer. And then basically you would have interacted with that mainframe through this terminal. Um, it also had one of those like green monochrome CRT monitors. Pretty cool. Here's another interesting one. This is a Compaq Portable 3. I've seen something similar to this on LGR on YouTube. Basically, it is like a computer that is the size of like a carrying case. Really interesting. It's like half mixed between a desktop PC and a laptop. Um, and it also have one of those really old gas plasma displays that like has that amber tint to it. Really, really cool. I just about got this thing, but it was in pretty rough condition. And honestly, if that gas plasma display was bad, I didn't really trust myself to try to fix that. So, oh well, it would be a pretty decent find for someone else though. Here's another portable PC, just like that compact one. Um, this is a K-Pro PC. I've never heard of that before, but it looks pretty old and also in pretty rough condition. Like it was all rusted on the back and everything. Pretty gross looking. Um, this one has two five and a quarter inch drives. Um, and it also has an in integrated CRT monitor. Pretty cool to see, but again, it, it, it was in pretty rough shape. I also saw a few Texas Instrument PCs which I had never seen those computers in person. No idea what the specs or what models that these were, but just figured I'd point them out because, you know, again, I hadn't seen any Texas Instrument PCs in real life and it was pretty cool to see. They even had a Tandy there too. Really cool. Ooh, this one was pretty cool to see because I actually have one of these growing up. Um, it's a Power Mac G4, I want to say, from like 1999. Really cool computer. I honestly really wish I still had it. So that was my trip to Minneapolis in a nutshell. I know it's kind of a different video than I usually upload, but I just wanted to share with all of you because it was a pretty cool experience for me. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. This is the end. I love you. <laughs>